Hey, what's up everybody? Colin Goodwin here again, back with the Podio series, and today we're going to be talking about invoicing through Podio. Now, there's several ways you could do this, but since we are focused on service businesses, one of the best ways to, to sell your service business and to keep track of a team is through Podio. There's so many workflows and so many things that you can create to do so. For today's example, I'm gonna show you an actual maintenance flow that we use. Now, just keep in mind, any service that you provide that you trade time for compensation can be used and we can create flows for that. Now, the fact that we're using maintenance is, is kind of a mute point. You can use really anything. Say you do consulting services, you can track your time in Podio. Say you do things per occurrence. Every time you do something, you can log it in Podio and it automatically creates an invoice. The point of today's lesson is to actually show you the power of invoicing through Podio. Back in the day, before you had these integrations, what you would have to do is you'd actually have to keep track of your time. Now, if you didn't have Podio, you'd be doing that in, in some other fashion. But the fact that you can keep track of time in Podio, and you can also mark items based on a specific status. An example of that would be complete. You can set up a webhook or a flow that once something is complete, now it deserves an invoice based on the criteria. So I've got a work order pulled up here. You can see up to this point, a technician has logged three hours, two miles, and $20 in materials purchased against this work order. There's another lesson in this Podio series where we'll show you actually how to do that. Here's the technician's notes. He was at that property serving this work order on January 4th and January 5th of 2018. And you can see his updates here. Now this is very powerful stuff in itself, but today we're just gonna focus on the invoicing portion. So he was at the property, he completed the work, he took photos, he showed everything, we're ready to bill the client. So once it's complete, we would actually hit complete to send off the invoice. Now. A unique feature that I have here is this review status. Because I have technicians in the field using the software, I want to be able to view it before it goes to complete because once it hits complete, and really the whole point of this demonstration is that a invoice is created. So what actually happens when the service technician in the field marks it on his end in complete status, on my end it actually goes into review. At any given time I can go in on a daily basis and I can check the reviewed and I can read through the notes, make sure the pictures, just make sure, do a quality assurance check, make sure that everything looks good. Now I'm gonna go ahead for the purpose of this example, I'm gonna hit complete. And it was that simple. So I knew I had to review this. I came in, I said, yep, three hours he was there. I can verify that he bought $20 in materials. I saw his picture of his receipt below. This work order is complete, ready to be built. Traditionally, you'd have to open your invoicing software and create an invoice. And that's a whole manual step, especially if you're doing hundreds and hundreds of work orders or hundreds and hundreds of flows like most companies do. That can get extremely tedious and can actually take a full-time person all day, every day to do this flow. So I'm gonna show you how to take that away and really automate that entire process. So now that I've selected complete on my work order, I can head over to my invoicing software, which in this case is gonna be zero. And you can see that I automatically have one draft invoice waiting of $180.53. Now I'm gonna open that here in a minute, but what I wanna point out is that any new invoices that come in through Podio or through the, the backend software will come in as a draft status. Now from this point, I actually have my accounting team take it from here. They click on this, they go back and we do a double check, a double verification. They make sure that, that everything I did in the initial review, remember I selected review then to complete, they double check it because I always wanna make sure that our invoices are tip top before they go to our clients. So they're gonna check it and you can see it says work order 138 and that's how our accounting team knows where to go to check it out. But I can click on that and you can see here, I've got labor, mileage and materials. I've got three hours of labor, I've got two miles and I've got one material which I at $20. Now I check back and magically I've got three hours two miles and $20 of materials. So you can see that the invoicing software used this data to create the bill. Now you can have a dynamic pricing structure, but in this case, I just had a flat rate flow in to my invoicing software. So it knew for the three hours, it knew to bill $50 an hour and it automatically totaled it up. It automatically added tax for me. It added the mileage, it added the materials and it created a full invoice for me. All my accounting team has to do now is select approve. And you can see now that it's moved out of draft status and into an awaiting payment. From this point forward, you can manually send the invoices through zero, or you can send an automated email that offers upsell services 
for discounted rates for future business, whatever it may be, this is an extremely powerful tool that can automatically send invoices for you. You have the power to select whether they go into draft status, approved, or if they auto send to the client. You can see this step alone can save your company a significant amount of time through the invoicing process.